Police are investigating after a man reported missing almost two weeks ago was found shot to death. Yeah, that's right. Neighbors in the Windsor Hills area spoke with WMER 2 News' Brittany Verner about what they saw. And Brittany, you know, sadly, it seems like folks in this area are just kind of getting used to this culture of violence. Yeah, and 23-year-old Christian Jackson is the man police found yesterday. He and he was in his vehicle, or I'm sorry, his, he and his vehicle were reported missing almost two weeks ago. And neighbors in the area said although they were disappointed about this, they were not surprised to learn about this happening in Windsor Hills. I mean, my goodness, this murders practically every day. Carjackings practically every day. The average citizen in Baltimore does not feel safe. On Sunday evening around 530 in Northwest Baltimore, a neighborhood near Windsor Hills was yet again turned into a crime scene. Every night there's a barrage of gunshots from just a few blocks away. This time police say they responded to assist with towing a vehicle. Here's a blurry picture of what it looked like that night. When they got there, they found 23 year old Christian Jackson dead with a gunshot wound to his head. It was a van. It's a gold van. I mean, we drive, you know, by there every day. Um, but that's, yeah, I didn't make any particularly mental notes about that. A detective came up and asked me about it. I didn't really know anything about it other than it had been parked there. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified says the gold van had been parked there for more than a week, which matches the timeline when Christian Jackson and his van were last seen. On the 15th of February, police reported Jackson missing and said he was last seen near 1200 McElderry Street. Now, almost two weeks later, and about six miles from where he was last seen, his body was found. And neighbors say it's daunting to know that it was sitting so close. It was yet another disappointment, but you know, we've gotten used to disappointments here. We've gotten, I mean, it's a terrible thing to say that we've gotten used to a culture of violence. Neighbors say it's this type of violence that perpetuates the fear of stepping foot outside. That's really what Baltimore is. Everybody's on edge. You know, um, we don't want to, you don't want to walk certain places, you want to go certain places. And now it's right here in the neighborhood. The mere fact that I have to do this interview without showing my face because of fear of retribution is a perfect example. No word yet on a suspect or motive. Detectives are still investigating and they're asking anyone with information concerning this incident to please contact police. Guys.